Welcome back to Dry Hollow Homestead. It's Danielle and I'm just going to give you a quick update. I have been drying my cow up. I know I said that we were moving to once a day. I think I did a video on that. Maybe I can link in the cards. And then we went to every other day milking. This is in the process of drying her up. This past week we did every three days I would go out and milk. Um, she was pretty uncomfortable at the start of this. I would leave milk in her udders every time I would milk so I was just getting some of the discomfort from her um, but not trying to get her body to be told that it needs to produce more right so if she's empty if she's totally or udders are totally empty her body knows she needs to make more if you leave some in it will tell her body that she doesn't need to make more right the whole point of us drying her up is because she is due to calf in uh, August um, so cows have the same gestational period as a woman does uh, as we do so nine months it's like 40 weeks that's 10 months some of us we go um, the whole 40 weeks without a doubt and sometimes over that's me but so she's going to be calving in August we need to give her body a period of time where she's dry she's not making milk and she can own she only is growing this baby calf this calf it should be another heifer we paid for we had her AI'd with, what do you call it, sexed semen, so she will have another Jersey heifer. So most dairy operations will tell you that you need to keep your cow bred so that she gives birth every year. So far we've went a year and a half. Last year she gave birth in May, June, July, August, not quite a year and a half. We go over just a little bit more than what people say is the right thing to do but after having my cow for as long as I have and knowing how much milk and for how long she would give us milk we are not going to keep up with what the dairy people say or <laughs> the experts in the field this calf that she gives us when she gives us this we will go probably a good year year and a half and I know people say oh well it makes it harder for you to breed her back we'll see I'm not going to put this much pressure on her body, I feel like, keeping her in calves. And definitely very debatable. It's not the common thing to be done whenever you have a cow that is in milk. They tell you to keep the milk up, but she gives me more than we need. She gives us at least six gallons a day, and this was only her... So this was her second lactation. This lactation that she gives birth here in August will be her third. She is going to continue, continually give us more milk. So we will get more than six gallons a day coming up after she calves. So as many of you guys know, you've been following, following along with me. We are having a baby in August. Um, August 20th is the due date? No, September 20th is the due date, September. I'm having a baby in September. She is having a calf in August. So I'm a little bit hesitant as to if I'm gonna be milking like I was before or if we're going to buy a couple extra calves to keep um, her milk supply <laughs> handled a little bit, <laughs> taken care of, we'll see. Well, I'm not sure. So I definitely am not gonna to continue to do what all the dairy experts say because I know my cow and even if she's harder to get bred back she will give us milk I think if we would never breed her back I think we'd get three years out of her I mean she was still giving us and this was me pushing her to stop making milk to stop producing milk she was still giving us three gallons a day and um, I'm sure if I and I don't give her dairy rations I don't even keep alfalfa to her very much because I don't want her to make a lot more milk so I'm sure we could easily go three years between calves for this cow. And we're going to do what's best for us next time instead of what is expected. And also we have our calf that will be giving, um, being able to be bred. Uh, actually, she could be bred now. We're going to give it a while, though. We definitely don't want two cows freshening around the same time. <laughs> so that's what it's called whenever a cow, milk cow gives birth. It's called freshening. And she's definitely a heifer. She's never been milked before, so it'll be fun. She's been, she was born on our farm, so that'll be interesting to watch um, that whole process. But she's definitely tame, and we rub her down. You've probably seen, I know I have videos of us training her a little bit. When we rub her down really well, and we rub her tummy 
Um, you never want to milk at all or squeeze on her teats at all because that can introduce bacteria. There is actually a, like a plug in her teat to keep bacteria from going up in there. But if you were to actually like squeeze do the actual motion of, of milking, you can cause that plug to come out and bacteria to go in and you can get mastitis and um, cause a dead quarter where it will not make milk. So we don't do that, but we definitely stroke her on her tummy and over her her udder that's not there, her <laughs> invisible little udders, um, just to get her used to us and getting in the stanchion and stuff. So it's been a fun process, but it's a sad day because we are done with the milking for this lactation. So I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I don't want to buy store-bought milk. I've had raw milk for so long, but raw milk around here is illegal to sell. The only way you can do it is if you have a milk share, which is pretty pricey, I feel like. We have a back stock of butter. I'm actually making probably my last butter of the season in my Bosch right now. So I have a butter in the freezer, probably about two gallons, two gallon bags, two and a half gallon bags full of um, blocks of homemade butter. And we have cheese that we've been kind of avoiding opening because we know we're gonna have a dry period. But yeah, you're, not gonna see as much dairy going on around here, which is really cruddy, but. So yeah, just be thinking of us <laughs> getting our dairy in a better source. So we usually just get Kirkland at Costco, uh, but it's been a long time, a really long time since we've had to do that. Gonna miss it, gonna miss it extremely much, but it'll make me appreciate it even more when we are back in milk and I'll be invigorated as invigorated as I'm going to be with a newborn to be processing all that dairy. But I was just giving you a chat and I will talk to you later. God bless and I speak Jesus over you. I'll see you again later. Bye.